Hey guys. Um, I've been thinking of what to do with my channel. And I'm leaning mostly towards making videos to inspire upcoming engineering students, people who want to go into the engineering field, and just answer questions, let them know my experience with it. I'm currently at Ryerson University and I'm completing my chemical engineering degree program in I'm gonna finish the course in April the whole program in April I'm gonna graduate in June and I've been in it for five years it's supposed to be a four-year program but I chose a program that had mandatory co-op which means a mandatory work and school um, alternation so because I chose this I had the opportunity to work in different companies in between work but then it wasn't as easy as it sounds but like Sorry, I've been looking at myself. Dane! So I have the opportunity of working with with um, different companies or like alternating that with school. So I just want to extend myself out there and make this a very interactive, you know, a very interactive session with you guys. I want you guys to ask me questions if you do. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this idea because I feel like there are not that many chemical engineers out there on YouTube that come and say their experience and I also want to know different like stereotypes for engineers and you know what you think about the whole program of the whole department or the whole like industry as a whole and I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback from everyone a little bit more background about myself. I'm schooling in Canada. I'm originally from Nigeria. But I came to Canada because I wanted to get a higher standard. That, that sounds demeaning to my country, but I wanted to get go to a place where there's more opportunities, where I could be more flexible with things. But the funny thing is that for my first work term, I went back home to go study to go do to go work for eight months my first work time i went back home to lagos and i had a wonderful time there i got to work at exxon mobile lagos and that was an oil and gas industry i can oil and gas experience which is very valuable to me i hold that close to my heart because the skills i learned there they are irreplaceable and then for my next work term i did that here in canada i worked at um, the woodbridge group it's a polyurethane lab i worked in but it's an automobile manufacturing company so they manufacture parts for different automobile companies based on the different specifications they wanted so it's just different things like that i had friends who worked in pharmaceutical companies when they were doing their own work terms i had friends who worked in food processing i had friends who worked in um, plastics people who worked in wastewater there's so much to do and one advice i would like to give you guys today is that if you are going to go into an engineering program make sure to always put in space to work but when you come out of school the funny thing is that they would ask you when they're trying to hire you or you're going to apply for a job they would like oh we want someone for entry level which is you a fresh graduate or we want someone with experience and then you'd be like but how can I have experience when I just graduated that's the thing. Now they're looking for people who are proactive, people who are working while they're in school, people who see the need to go and get industrial knowledge while they're in school and incorporate it with their school life. So that's one major key that I would give to you guys. So yeah, I hope this can be a very positive thing and I look forward to hearing feedback from all of you. Thank you for your time. Bye.